Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on those of you Aries who are currently in a no contact situation with your person. I'm going to take a look at what were your person's feelings for you at the beginning of the no contact. I'm going to then take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you right now in the present. And then we'll take a look at the future and see what will your person's feelings for you be in the future slash what is the outcome between you two all right let's go ahead and get started just as a reminder these are general readings they might not resonate for everyone but if it resonates for you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it keep in mind my readings are for sun moon rising and venus signs all right, let's get started. Let's see what were your person's feelings for you at the start or at the beginning of the no contact. All right. How did this person feel about Aries at the beginning of the no contact? How did this person feel about Aries at the beginning of the no contact? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, <clears throat> justice in reverse. With the Temperance card and the Three of Wands in reverse, with the Six of Cups in reverse, Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Moon. All right, just this in reverse. Hmm. So this person definitely had feelings for you with the Knight of Cups. But there was a lot of like unsurety, uncertainty with the Moon card in regards to having a commitment with you. There was a lot of uncertainty. I do feel kind of um, two options. I am getting that for sure. This person might have somebody else who they were connecting to. Another opportunity that wasn't with you, Aries. And I feel like they were indecisive. Hmm. Which one do you represent, though? Because I feel like there's a, an older energy and a newer energy that this person was connecting to. Let's see who you are. How is this person viewing Aries? How is this person viewing Aries? Oh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Yeah, you're the you're the older energy here. So yeah, like I said, I feel like this person wasn't really sure if they wanted to commit to you or if they wanted to entertain um, another option that it feels more like more new. Someone who they didn't know for as long as, as they know you. If that makes sense. Hmm. Tell me about the moon spirit. Why the moon? Hmm, I see. 
Yeah, Aries, this is someone who's more committed to themselves than they are committed to another person. I feel like that's just their nature here. It's really hard for them to commit to someone that is outside of themselves. They're mainly committed to themselves. They think about it. I feel like they they thought about um, the possibility of committing to you. But I don't see that this person really had their heart in it, you know? Their heart wasn't really in it at all. I feel like this is someone who still wanted to play the field with the Knight of Cups. How does your person currently feel about you now? Let's take a look at that in the present. <clears throat> Spirit, how does this person currently feel about Aries at the present time? Sorry, my voice is cracking. <clears throat> How does this person currently feel about Aries at the present time? Ace of Swords, okay. With the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. With the Knight of Cups. Oh, look, the Knight of Cups is here again. Oh, but this time it has the Seven of Cups in reverse. Interesting. What else? With the Sun, the Emperor, Five of Swords, I mean, Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, King of Cups. Oh, interesting. So it didn't work out, I guess. Yeah, that's what happened. That's exactly what happened. Ace of Cups with the Lovers. It didn't work out with whoever they were trying to work it out with that was outside of you. What, whatever other option they had or was, or was thinking about. Or... um. Whatever other option they were connecting to. Looks like they're out of the picture. Now I only see you in the picture, Aries. Yeah. You're the only one in the picture now. They're very focused on you now. And it looks like they want to take things more seriously with you now. With the King of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. They're thinking more seriously about having a commitment with you, having a stable relationship with you, starting over, having a new beginning. Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Sorry about that dog. The dog is fine. It just it's crying because I think it's alone in the house. All right. The Emperor is here. So this person is planning. So if they're quiet right now, if they're not contacting you, if they're not communicating with you, it's because they're planning. They're making a plan um, of how they're going to return back to you and what they're going to say and how they're going to convince you, how they're going to persuade you, you know? That's what this person is doing. Yeah, because the third party situation here, it didn't work out, like I said, three of pentacles in reverse. Anything else? There's no second chance with whoever else they were connecting to. There's no, no second chances. They're letting that go. And they're focusing on you. What is this emperor doing? Let me just take a look at that. Tell me about the emperor spirit. Why is the emperor here? Ooh, look at the emperor with the devil. Watch out, Aries. This person is, has now become obsessed with you. They're now obsessed with you. Their attention was divided, but it's not divided anymore. 
you are their target now. Yeah, you're their target. They're, they're coming to get you. <laughs> they're, but they're planning right now. They're in, a, they're in the planning stage. I wonder how you feel. I'm kind of curious about how you feel. Let's take a look at you real quick. How does Aries feel about this person, Spirit? What are Aries' current feelings in the present? In regards to this person. How is Aries responding? You look like you're not making it too easy for them. I, I get that energy. Maybe a little closed off to this person, but I don't know, let's see. How does Aries currently feel about this person? Chariot, oh, do you see, I told you. Yeah, you know, the chariot is kind of a very independent energy. This is an energy of you kind of being in your, being in your zone, not focused on anyone, just focus on yourself. Anything else, spirit? How does, this person, how does Aries currently feel about this person? Yeah, you see, six of pentacles in reverse. You're not giving it any energy. You're not giving in, you're not giving them any of your time. You're not really acknowledging this person. It looks like you're just kind of ignoring them, to be honest. You're paying no mind to them. All right, let's take a look at the future. What's going to be the outcome here? Um, let me see, what am I going to look at? Yeah, their feelings for you in the future and, and the general outcome between you and this person. <clears throat> Moving forward into the future, how is this person going to feel about Aries? And what is going to be the outcome between them? One more shuffle. Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Temperance to the Fool to the Magician to the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Oh God, I need to separate you. I feel like you're mixed in here. All right. Ten of Pentacles to the Lovers, Temperance. I feel like there's going to be a period of time of, of nothing happening, basically, between you and this person with the Temperance card. Yeah. Moving forward into the future, there's not going to be much activity or, you know, much um, progress here between you and this person. It looks more like a general energy of things being kind of stagnant and stuck and just not, not moving, not going anywhere. Well, let me separate you um, just to have more of a clear idea. And I'm gonna separate this person too. How does um, Aries going to feel about this person moving forward into the future? How will Aries feel about this person moving forward into the future? Hmm. You look pretty independent. Keeping yourself single and independent. Yeah, Magician in Reverse, that's the one. Yeah, Five of Cups with the Queen of Wands. 
King of Swords, okay, with the Seven of Swords and the King of Cups. You do have feelings for this person. You just don't trust this person at all. You just don't trust this person at all, and you're not willing to take a chance on them because you don't have any faith in them. Let me separate this person. Um, how is this person going to be feeling about Aries? Moving forward into the future, what feelings will this person have for Aries? Moving forward into the future. Two of Swords, Two of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Oh. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, tell me about that Knight of Swords spirit. Knight of Swords to the Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles with the Four of... Oh. So... I do feel like there's frustration here, but I feel like this person is going back to being committed to just themselves. I'm seeing frustration though. I feel like this person feels like you're not you're not responding to them or you're not you're not chasing them. You know. You're not fighting for them. They feel like they keep um hitting a dead end with you. I feel like they try to they try to get their way with you, but you don't really make it easy for them. So I feel like moving forward into the future, this person is like in this energy of I'm just going to commit to myself. I'm, go I'm, gonna, I'm going to go back to committing to, to just myself. But I feel like they're going to be watching you and spying on you. So I actually see like a temporary, you know, um, break. This person taking a temporary break from you, but they'll be back with the Knight of Swords. They'll be back. They're just kind of pissed off or, you know, frustrated because they're not getting what they want from you. Tell me more about that Knight of Swords spirit. Yeah, the lovers in reverse and the devil in reverse. So it's like they're not getting what they want. They want... They want a connection with you, but you're not connecting because you don't trust them at all. You do have feelings for them, but you don't trust them at all. Okay, let's see. Let's get an oracle card. Which one? Let me see. I have one that is magic. Maybe this one or the elements. I like the magic one. Let's do this one. All right. Oracle message for Aries, spirit. What does Aries need to know? This one is called like magic for you or magic in you, something like that. The name of the Oracle deck. All right, message for Aries, please. Is, this one says, panacea. There is a solution for every problem. Panacea. There is a solution for every problem. That's interesting. What does that mean? Oh, look, we have another one. We have para, paradisical, paradisical. You belong to paradise. You belong to paradise. What a nice message. All right, let me see. I'm going to take a look. At, I'm going to get a tarot card for that. Tell me about panacea, spirit. There is a solution for every problem. Oh. 
oh, <laughs> interesting, look at this. <clears throat> we got the Eight of Cups clarifying this card, um, the Panacea card. There is a solution for every problem. It looks like the solution is walking away because Eight of Cups is all about walking away. But I kind of feel like that's what you're doing here. Well, not completely. You're not completely walking away. You're just not responding to this person. But it does seem to be encouraging you to like fully walk away, you know, mentally, emotionally, physically. That's going to be the solution of, of your problems, I guess, with this person. Which I guess in other words is telling in other words it's telling you there is no solution. Like the solution is to walk away, which means that you can't fix you can't fix things with this person. It's beyond, you know, fixable. And then this one says you belong to paradise. You belong to paradise makes me feel like you deserve better, you know? You deserve a lot better than, than what this person is offering you. All right, Aries, so I hope this reading helped you in some way. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.